Hey guys, right, I thought I would make this uh, video to kind of help you guys out with those who actually want to install PlayStation games on their Xperia phone. So as you can see, I've got my Xperia Play phone here. Um, and what you want to do first, uh, main, main, mainly because uh, there seems to be too much stuff out there that doesn't make sense with how the hell do you install all your games and things on your phone. So I thought I'd show you quickly how you can do it. So first of all, you want to get yourself the program XPSC, on, uh, which is an emulator for your Xperia Play. Uh, well, pretty much for Android uh, altogether, but yeah, if you want to get yourself that. Um, and then what you need to do is you need to also get yourself um, something called a BIOS file. And the BIOS, I'm not exactly sure what, what the BIOS does, I'm sure there's plenty of stuff actually on the internet for it, but uh, basically you do need it. So you want to download yourself that, or you can buy it from the Android. Uh, and basically you want something like that okay so if you end up getting that and yeah, that's also dot bin if that makes any sense to any of you but uh, if you want to get yourself that um, so once you've got those two programs then you're pretty much ready to actually start getting games and things so what you want to do if you, you want to legally if you want to do it the proper way um, you want to actually make sure that you have the game so in fact, let me just grab, there you go, there's, there's my Final Fantasy 7, and there's my Final Fantasy 9 there as well. Um, but right, what you want to do is you want to get yourself two uh, programs in particular, because I'm going to show you the way where you rip it off of your own disc, and then I'm going to show you the way to actually, uh, uh, if, if, well, if it comes out as a completely different file to what you should end up getting. Now what you should end up getting is something uh, called a .bin file, and a .q file uh, with these. These are the main things that you need to put on your Xperia Play to be able to play your games through that emulator. Uh, but to rip your own disc, you want to get something called Image Burn, which is uh, completely free um, if you end up getting it. And you'll have this sort of menu. Um, yeah, so basically you would go to uh, Create File from Disk. Uh, you'd have your game uh, put into the computer and then literally you rip it, uh, well you just, you literally yeah, just rip it to your computer and then uh, you'll have uh, an ISO or a .bin and a .q file uh, completely ripped and then I'll just show you what that will look like. That will look like something like this, I, I in fact ripped Final Fantasy 9, I've renamed them so you've got Final Fantasy 9 this one, dot, which is a .bin file and then you've got the same thing as a .q file as well. Um, so what you want to then do is once you've ripped them off, uh, you want to plug in your Xperia Play. So give me one second. Oh my God. As you can see it's already got Crash Bandicoot installed on there. Okay, right, there we go, right. Let's open the view folders. Right, what you do want to do is you want to actually make um, some sort of folder on your SD card on the phone uh, that makes it uh, easy to identify where you've put all your uh, games and, and bits and pieces. So I made a folder called PSX uh, on the phone memory card. Uh, and as you can see, I've kind of got a few games put on there at the moment. Uh, I will get to why the Final Fantasy on here is a bit different. Um, but uh, yeah, once, you, once you've done that, you literally copy them over. So as you can see, you've got all my .bin and .q files for all the Final Fantasy games there. Um, and then it should be as easy as that. And then when you, once they're actually on, then you're pretty much ready to actually play the games almost. Um, but what I did actually find as well is that some games, um, especially in the UK, they don't tend to work on the Xperia Play. So what you have to do is get a copy of the uh, American version. So there are plenty of ROM websites out there. I won't list them to you, but if you end up getting yourself some, uh, you need to just sort of find the ROMs that you want. So in particular on here, I had a problem with Final Fantasy IX. So I downloaded myself the uh, the American version. Um, I won't say where, uh, but yeah, you down I downloaded the American version. And one of the problems that did come up was that it came out as an ECM file once it finished. Now this is something to do with a compression of some sort. So uh, what you have to do with uh, then is you have to unzip it into uh, its .bin and .q files and I'll tell you what I had an absolute nightmare trying to find this sort of thing so the easiest thing to do 
after I eventually found it, it took me ages, uh, if you want to download yourself a program called Gem C, and if I just open it for you, it looks something like this, and literally, once you've got your ECM file of, of a game uh, that you've downloaded off the internet, just literally, you get this program, open it, and then once you've actually found it uh, inside your uh, computer or whatever, all you have to do is just click uh, unm cm file and it will literally unzip it for you and it will actually turn it into uh, a dot bin and a dot q uh, easiest easiest thing for you i know there seems to be a lot of trouble uh sorting it out but that seems to be the best thing so um so yeah so th those are the main three things that you you definitely need image burn to actually rip your own discs uh the proper way uh gem c to um unzip any ecm files and you need your bios file so that's pretty much everything that you need to actually do on this side. There we go. Right. Put it on my knee. Right. So if I just go across uh, to FPSC. Open that up. Okay. That doesn't look very clear. So for this. Yes. You will need to make sure you've got your SD card installed on the phone. Right. There you go. Right. As you can see. Even that's completely blurry. All right, so actually, all of these listed here is all of my. Um, I've actually already selected the the folder that has all the PlayStation games uh, and the BIOS installed. And what you will need to do uh, on your first time round is to actually go onto settings, and then there'll be a list of uh, like everything do, no that's not going to do anything all right so you've got five five options there listed system audio video input and cheat uh, you go on to system first and then there will be an option that says bios loading and basically with that you need to select your bios file so you'll need your scph 1001.bin so you'll end up clicking that uh, there we go you find your folder for it and then you end up doing all that um, and then you, you will need to just restart um, the program again so with that you then just click select uh, quit restart okay then that will actually go back onto your list of games and then once you're actually on your games all you have to then do is select what you want to play so I'll select for this example Final Fantasy 9 and of course that's just typical uh, Final Fantasy 9 there we go let's give it a minute I, when I saw this I was like oh god it's not going to work it's broken, I've broken it it's not, it's not going to do anything but there you go Final Fantasy 9 installed working there you go I can need to Click new, continue, do all that. It's pretty straightforward, so you know it works. There you go, got all the saves and stuff that I've been doing. And there you go. Um, hopefully, that's clear enough for you. I know that's kind of a bit rushed. I might actually make a proper one, proper video at some point, so make it even, even clearer. But otherwise, for now, there you go. Um, hope that helps you out. Uh, Cheers for tuning and uh, yeah, hope you enjoyed it.